Hi hello and welcome everybody! I feel like I'm a little late to the trend, but this week I'm gonna read books and I'm gonna just end this video as soon as I find my new five star read. Because honestly, I'm just being picky. I am too picky for my own good. We have some hot contestants here. I have my handy dandy Kindle. I have hopes, okay? I have high hopes. So we have Iron Flame and that's on the agenda. I also have the prison healer just because I just, I saw a reel or like a post and they had the first sentence in there and I was like, that sounds great. I need it. Maybe the prison healer is an option for me. Next up are two books that I've already had on my like TBR video from like the last one. These two, Legendborn and Belladonna. They sounded so good that I was so excited to read them. If neither of those like fit the vibes, I'm gonna have to go for like romance and read Reckless. That's, that's the goal here. Since I'm such a big mood reader, these plans could completely change within the next few hours, days. I guess we're just we're just going in. We're just gonna start reading. And honestly, because I just reread Fourth Wing, I think I'm gonna start reading Iron Flame immediately. So let's start with Iron Flame. Get the Kindle ready. Get everything else ready. Be ready, be prepared, and get reading. It is severely later in the evening and I've not read a single page since I turned off the camera because instead I speed watched all three Pitch Perfect movies. But we're not talking about Pitch Perfect actually, we're talking about Iron Flame because apparently I am reading. I also, this is the weirdest thing but I'm gonna show you anyway. My snack of choice right now are chocolate chips but like actual chips made out of chocolate. Go oh, perfect. See, for some reason, I'm not as invested in this plot line as I could be. I already know this isn't gonna be a five star because I'm, the beginning is slow. Granted, I'm like 3% into this book, right? A lot can happen in the other 97%, but I'm mm, not as invested. Oh, this is so sad. I was so excited for this. <sighs> this is, this is, this is tricky. We'll read on. Let's continue with this book, even though it's not, it's just, it's just not. Iron Flame is not starting out as good as I had hoped it will. But it's all I'm gonna tell you about this, cause I don't wanna spoil you. And it might just be me, and it's only been 3%, so. I have some weird suspicions about this book, because I'm not sure how they're gonna like, do this. Things are happening. I have a feeling that Violet is gonna be like extremely overpowered in comparison to everybody else. That just doesn't make sense to me because you know the way that magic works in like the fourth wing books is that it drains you and you don't have unlimited magic. I'm not 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 happy about how this turns out. Again only at three percent but Oh, I'm not happy. Who's this? Why do I not like this? I was supposed to like this book. This is all wrong. I was supposed to love this and now I, I don't. And I don't know why I don't like it, but I don't. The Kindle says it will still take me 14 hours to read this book. Who do you think I am? Like, how am I supposed to read 14 hours? Pretty sure 14 hours isn't correct because the Kindle always lies with like those estimates, but 14 hours. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, okay. Secrets make for poor leverage. They die with the people who keep them. I am, every time I read a book, I'm so bamboozled how one single sentence can like get my brain to be all You get that? <laughs> I'm just gonna say it now. This one's not as much fun as the first one was. <clears throat> the plot, I don't see a plot yet. Which is concerning at 10%. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Um, I don't know if there is anything happening. 
I am just a little confused as to what's going on. <sighs> it's not bad. I just wish it were better. I think it's just second book syndrome. You know how the second book in any series is just the worst? No matter how many books are in that series, the second book is always the worst. That's just, that's the rule, it's the law. And apparently Fourth Wing and Iron Flame just play into that law. I'm only at 16% in this freaking book. <sighs> and that's just because I'm not as invested as I was in the first one. I'm just, I'm just not invested. I've bothered my roommate so much with the plot of this book because I don't like it. Could have been better. And it's a little boring, honestly. Sentences like that, they just catch me. And I do not care. I don't care who says them. I don't care who that person is. I don't care how toxic that relationship is. If somebody says, okay, and I quote, I want you more than my next breath, I will melt for that person. I will literally just be like a little tiny puddle. I'm 20% into this. It says I still have nine hours and 54 minutes to go. Wish me luck that I get sleep tonight. Okay, it just started to rain. It's also like weirdly loud in the car. It's not weirdly loud, the car is charging. But I think I'm gonna now wait out the rain and just like grab Iron Flame. I'm not 22% into Iron Flame and the phone will fall at some point. I'll just do it like this. So I'm not 22% in. Iron Flame. It's good. It but it makes me it makes me feel things, which is which is good. That's what it's supposed to do. But it makes me feel angry. And usually when I read a book I want to feel giddy, but I'm not. It's the night. I am debating whether or not I should start a different book. And it hurts me so much to say that. But reading Iron Flame right now, it doesn't feel right. I'm just not invested in the story. Got it. Chapter 16. Another rainy afternoon. I don't know what I'm to do. I just miss you more than I just I just cringed so hard. This I'm not an expert on this um field for obvious reasons. Um, I think that when you're like doing it and you're like in the zone with somebody and then they say I need you the correct answer to that is never same <laughs> like the only w reason you could say oh my gosh same is when you're like oh my god I love this outfit and you're like same it's not when you're like getting it on with your partner and then they say I need you and you say same The situation is weird enough. Don't make it this weird. This is a level of weird that I don't need in my life I'm now 41% in. I still don't have a plot. I'm just I'm just ugh. I'm bored This isn't fun why is it not fun? Why am I not enjoying this? The worst thing is that I was so trying to enjoy this and I'm just not. And I feel like that's probably like such an unpopular opinion. The max that I can give right now at the point that this book is on is a three stars. And that would be generous. Ugh, I just, I hate this. I hate this. I can't believe that this book has taken me two days and I'm only 50% into it. It's at 54% and the book could be over now. A normal book would have been over, but this feels like it's two books smashed into one book. But now the plot is over. That wasn't there in the first place and that little bit of plot that was there is now gone. So now I'm very confused as to what's gonna happen with the rest of the like 46% that we still have in this book. So I've not been doing well on the reading front. This appointment was so draining for me that I just wanna, 
I just want to sleep. I just want to take a nap and another nap and just nap all day. So I think the best thing to do right now is actually to take a nap and then read later. It's a quarter past six. Apparently I only have four hours left, says the Kindle. Okay, four hours and 23 minutes, but that's 63% done. I honestly, I, I can't, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am at a point in this book where I'm thinking of just dng effing it. I honestly don't think that I should torture myself with it. And by now, it is literal torture. I'm not having a good time. I still don't know what's happening. Honestly, I'm like at 66% now. I'm, I'm just not happy. I'm not happy. And because I'm not happy, I don't feel like I need to finish that book and it hurts so much. It hurts me physically, but I don't think I can do it. Now that I've just, I've, I've just closed the book on my Kindle, I feel so much better. It feels so much lighter. I feel like I don't have to pressure myself into reading this book. I might finish it at some other point in time because, you know, the Kindle keeps it and I can just like jump back in. I can't anymore. I think I need romance. So you know what we're gonna do? Give me a second. I'm going to a happy place. I, I just, I'm sorry, I had to do that. It smells so good. It all, every time I read on my Kindle, I, I forget the way that books smell. <sighs> so nice. I don't like this. Okay. Smells so good. Let's go. What's his name? Win? Wine? Win? See, this is like one chapter in, and I'm having so much more fun. 15 minutes later, I'm 50 pages into the book. It's going great so far. I just now realized that Parth, um, I thought Parth was a girl. Parth is apparently not. I was, I, I thought that Parth was gonna marry her girlfriend. Apparently Parth is gonna marry his girlfriend. Yeah, maybe it's just wishful thinking. <laughs> we have fake dating, which makes my heart bounce very fast. Fake dating is just one of the best tropes out there. What I didn't know was we have a like friend group that goes on vacation together every single year. And the two of them are basically pretending like they're still engaged even though they're broken up. Of course they're gonna have to stick out for the rest of the vacation. You can't ruin the vacation for everybody in your friend group by saying that you're not engaged anymore. No, you have to pretend you're engaged until you go back home. Because that's what these people are doing. And I like it. Good book. It's going so much better with this one. It might just be the fact that it's cheesy romance. It is fun so far, but... It doesn't give me the feeling that I want. It doesn't give me that instant five-star book feeling. Which is a shame, because that means I gotta read another one until Friday. Like, this book is, the book is good. The book is good. It's just, I thought, I'm not sure what's missing. I think if I already knew why they broke up in the first place, I would feel better. Generally, I'm just constantly thinking, you know what, you could actually just talk about your issues and it would be fine. But they don't. But yeah, it's it's fun so far. And I'm having a much better time than I was with Iron Flame, which is sad. I didn't read as much as I wanted to read today, but I at least I did read something, so we're 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 going somewhere. I think I'm almost like it doesn't look halfway, but I'm close to halfway done with Happy Place. It's really good. It's probably gonna be like a four stars. So, I'm not entirely sure what it is I'm looking for here. <sighs> but th there has to be a book that's gonna give me that feeling again. So, until then, I'll be reading Happy Place, finishing Happy Place. I don't know what I'm to do 
I just miss you more than anything It's way too quiet in the house I'm just wasted on the couch Cause I don't wanna feel anything Wish you I did it! I finished the book! I'm happy with it. There's one singular pink post-it in it when I thought it was very cute. See, this was a fun book. This was a good book. I really, really enjoyed how the focus was so much on the friendships and the individual friendships between the like six people that are in that house and not as much on like the relationship aspect. I mean, sure, that was a huge part of it. But I feel like the friendships were so important and I loved that about it. Honestly, I would say this is like a four stars, probably. And especially if you're just now trying to get into like reading Spice for the first time maybe, there's like two extremely short, extremely like almost closed door. The door is slightly ajar, right? But we're not really like pushing through the door with those scenes so that's really good if you're trying to like get yourself familiar with it see if you like it but good book I'm happy and I think that I'm now in the mood to read fantasy again and I'm not sure which one so let me show you my options Legendborn, Belladonna, Prison Healer. I honestly think then I'm gonna go with Legendborn. I've had this book for so long and I never knew what it was about. Now that I do know what it's about because I read it for this video or like for the last one, that I actually wanna pick it up and I actually wanna read it. Let's go. Ooh, Ooh somebody died. I like it. No, it's fine. It's Friday, which also means that for me it's the last day to find a five-star read. I am currently 14 pages into Legendborn. I was not expecting the font to be this tiny. So the plan is to finish reading that book. I will get back to you once I have more news about that book and how that readathon is going because uh, uh, it could go in different directions, honestly. I'm back. It's weirdly been a while and now it's Friday and I'm currently doing the outro because I actually finished this. I actually did find a five-star read. Now did I record me reading this book? Absolutely not because I read this while I was on the way to my grandma's funeral which sounds horrible but it's the truth. Honestly, let me get my phone. Let me get, let me, let me check this. Cause for the past few days, I've been like stuck to my Kindle. I did a lot of reading. I needed distraction and I got my distraction in the sense of romance books. So I read a few romance books. I'm just gonna like name them and tell you what I thought about them and just like what those are because yeah. I read King of Greed. This is the third book by Anna Huang, the Kings of Sin series. That's the third book in it. It was all right, it was a fun time. It was like a three stars. We're not gonna talk about it. It's a billionaire romance, it's a good time. The billionaire romances are most of the time, like they're, they're a good time. Then, sticking with the billionaire romances, let me grab, oh, I'm never gonna find them in there. Give me a minute. I found one. I found it. That was much more of an old ordeal than it had to be. So I finished Terms and Conditions and Final Offer. These are the last two books in the Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. I had a Lauren Asher run. These two were, they were good. They were fun. They weren't perfect though. I wasn't a fan of the third one. The second one was like a four stars. I enjoyed it with like Declan and Iris. I liked their chemistry. And then with the final offer, it felt weird. I didn't enjoy it as much. Um, I loved the kit that was in it, so that one, the final, final offer, was only like a two, three stars for me. They were still good though. And then the book that hit me, Love Redesigned. We have the lakefront billionaires, because you can never have too many billionaires in a book series. So we're technically like in the town where Lana lives from that book. And we have like the small town vibes, but then we have a billionaire who like, he, he's sort of like a self-made billionaire because he started his own 
his own business. But I think he's a billionaire because he actually, like, he sold an app or something. And then he made, like, his own construction company. And that's his deal. The two of them, she's like a major TV lady. And she does remodelings on TV. And so they've been childhood friends more like childhood enemies. Then she comes back and he's like, you're back. And then they remodel a house together and it's beautiful. This book was beautiful. I loved every single second of it. It was a five star read for me. I loved it. Now the only issue is I still have not finished Legendborn even though I was planning on it, but I just could not be bothered to switch on my brain, so I just I just didn't. At least I did find a five-star read. I, I wasn't sure I was gonna do it, but I, I did. With that, I feel great about ending this video. Just to recap, I read Iron Flame, and I will count it as read Iron Flame, because I read it and I didn't like it, and that's fine. That's my opinion. I hated that fucking book so much. Second book I read, Happy Place. That was a good one. Not perfect, but good. And then the next one I started was Legendborn. I didn't finish Legendborn. And then I read all of the other books. And now we're here. And I will see you for the next video that I make, which will hopefully be soon. Bye! Have a good time and go read some billionaire romance, because obviously they make life better in some weird way. Bye! I would be such a boring protagonist, honestly. I would just be sitting on my bed doing nothing but reading all day long. And then they would, somebody would come around and be like, you know what, I have this, please fake date me. And I would be like, mm, pass. But every time something like this comes up, I'm like, give me the fake dating. You get what I mean? It's been a, been a long day for me. Okay, bye. <laughs> I just rambled so much. Why do I always ramble?